Welcome to the video of projectile motion. We'll derive the range, the maximum height reached, and the time of flight of a projectile projected with an initial velocity u at an angle theta with the horizontal. The first thing that we need to do is we need to set our frame of reference. We assume that the projectile starts from the point A and we Take this point as the origin of our frame of reference, our x axis, and our y axis. The projectile starts from point A and ends up at point B. The projectile is projected with initial velocity u, and this velocity is at an angle theta with the horizontal or our x axis. The displacement along the x axis is the range of the projectile, which is AB. H is the maximum height reached by the projectile and the displacement along the y axis is 0. Because the projectile starts from origin which is on the x axis and it ends up at B which is also on the x axis. So overall displacement of the uh, projectile along y axis is 0. We will divide this motion into two different motions. The x motion, in uh, which will be the x analysis, and the y motion. So, we'll find out various parameters of the x motion and the y motion. So, ux is the initial velocity of the projectile along the x direction, which is u cos theta, and uy is the initial velocity of the projectile along the y direction, which is u sin theta. We have just found out the components of u along the x axis and the y axis. Ax equals to 0. There is no acceleration of the projectile along the x axis, but the acceleration along the y axis is minus g meter per second square. Displacement along the x axis is s of x, which is equal to r, the range of the projectile. Now, this displacement is equal to ut uh, because there is no acceleration, so ux multiplied by t would be the displacement or the range of the projectile. Sy, the displacement of the projectile along the y axis is 0, which is equal to uyt minus half gt square. This is how the projectile goes from point A to point B. It starts from the origin, ends up at r, 0. Let us solve the equation Sy equals to 0, which is equal to uyt minus half gt square. Now we'll take t common from here. So we'll get two solutions of this quadratic equation. One, t is equal to zero, and the other solution is t is equal to two u sine theta by g. Now t equals to zero points to this point A, the start of the flight. And t equals to two u sine theta by g points to point B. So at these two points, the displacement along the y axis is 0. Let us substitute the value of t in the equation for range of the projectile. So r is equal to u x t. We will just substitute the value of t as 2u sin theta upon g here. So we will get the range as u square sin 2 theta upon g. We have used the trigonometric identity, which is 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin 2 theta. So, the range of the projectile is u square sin 2 theta upon g. Now, let us find out the highest point at which the projectile attains this height. This is the half, first half of the journey. So, the projectile reaches this point D, uh, which is basically has a coordinate of r by 2 and com comma h, if h is the highest height. So we have to find h. If we carefully look at the motion, this whole motion from A to B is symmetrical about this green line, the axis. So we'll use the displacement along the vertical axis here, h, which is equal to sy at t by 2. As a journey is symmetric, so the time taken by the projectile to reach 
the point D would be half of the total time of flight. So SY is equal to UYT minus half DT square. Now we know that T is equal to U sine theta upon G, half of the total time of flight. So H is equal to U sine theta multiplied by U sine theta upon G minus half G multiplied by U sine theta upon G whole square. If we reduce this expression, we'll get H as U square sine square theta upon 2G. We must remember that the journey is symmetrical about the vertical axis and T is equal to the total time of flight upon 2 which is U sine theta upon G. So we have derived the highest height reached by the projectile which is H is equal to U square sine square theta upon 2G. Let us find out the equation of trajectory of a projectile. S of X is the displacement of the projectile along the x axis. Let us assume that displacement to be x is equal to uxt, which is equal to u cos theta multiplied by t. ux is the component of the velocity along the x direction. t is equal to x upon u cos theta. From this equation, so sy is basically equal to y. Any, any arbitrary point xy where x is the x coordinate of the projectile and y is the y coordinate of the projectile. So sy is equal to y which is equal to uyt minus half gt square. Now we are going to substitute the value of t we have found out from the first equation into the second equation. So y is equal to u sine theta multiplied by t minus half gt square. If we substitute this value of t then we will get y is equal to u sine theta multiplied by x upon u cos theta minus half g x upon u cos theta whole square. So the equation of the trajectory is basically y is equal to x tan theta minus half g x square upon u square 6 square theta.